Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Java tutorial series. So till now we have covered arrays data structure. Uh, so what I'll be doing is uh, we'll be covering some uh, hot hot topics, uh, hot interview questions which are covered or frequently asked uh, during the interview processes of the many companies. Okay. Uh, so these are the ba basic one uh, that that the interviewer may ask you to test your uh, problem solving skills. Okay, uh, so is so today in this video, uh, let me just open uh, create one Java class, and I will rename it as uh, let's suppose so remove elements. Okay, so let me what I'll be doing is let me just increase the font size. Okay, wait, I will increase the font size. Okay, now it's okay. Okay, so I'll just comment out the question. So what we have to do is we have to remove the even numbers from an array. So what we have to do is we have to write one function where the, you have to pass one array to that function and that function will return you the new array where all the elements are odd ones okay so what it does it will remove the all the even numbers from the array that you have pa you have passing to that function okay so enough talking uh, i will give you an example let's suppose okay wait let me just comment it out i'm giving an example array we have this array let's suppose we have elements random elements 3 comma 2 comma 4 comma 7 comma 8 okay so uh, this is uh, the array that you have passed to the function and now uh, the array which will be returned by our function is 3 2 is removed because that is a even number Four is also got removed because that is also even number seven and eight is also removed so this is the expected output from your function function okay uh, so first of all let's break, break down our question so we have to remove the even numbers from an array right so first of all we have we need one uh, way where we can count the total number of uh, even integers that are present inside that array right so we need uh, one way to count uh, step let me just call it as steps steps that we are need to solve count the number of uh, not even let, let let us count odd numbers so that okay uh, after counting step number two is we have to create a new array of that size of the size equals to the odd numbers present inside that array right so create a new array of size equals number of odd numbers right now after creating the array we just need to iterate through this uh, through the array and check whether that number is odd if that number is odd we just simply take that number and uh, put it inside the new array okay so i will write if number is odd take it and Put it inside new array. okay so these are the steps that we have to follow okay so let's go and create our main function first I will write my main function and inside this main function I will create one array uh, I'll be taking the hard coded hard coded values uh, you can also take the uh, input from the user by taking the 
creating this object of the scanner class as you know till now i hope array of size let's suppose five and wait and i will pass the values uh, let's let, let me sub, let me give the above values itself three two four seven Okay, now I'm getting the other. Let's put it in a, now it's okay. Okay, uh, now we have created one array. And now I will write uh, one function, function call. Uh, before that, I have to create one function over here. I will create one function. Yeah, okay. So my function uh, doesn't return anything uh, it just creates an or else i can return i can return one array okay for now i will not return anything i will just simply write void uh, my function main or else i will write i will return that new array itself okay uh, you can also uh, write void but uh, one extra thing that you have to do is you have to print that uh, new array inside that uh, that function okay so that's what we have to do extra uh, over here i am not doing that thing i will write remove even and i will just pass the array Great. okay now inside this function uh, first thing we have to do we have to count the odd number okay so for counting part i need one uh, counter variable uh, let me just call, call it as or count is equals to zero initially zero and we need one for loop uh, so this for loop will iterate from i is equal to zero to i till less i less than array dot length and each time we will do i plus plus and inside this array uh, we'll check for if condition if array at current i index is more to is not equals to zero okay so what this line will do is uh, it will check that number and it will check if it is divisible by 2 mod 2 means it is divisible by 2 if it is divisible by 2 that means that number is even number and we will not count that number as an odd odd number and we will not in increment the value of the odd count okay and inside this we will simply increment the uh, uh, odd count by 1 odd count plus plus okay so first step is done now we have to create a new array of size the number of the odd numbers present inside that array okay so i will write int array this is the result array so i will name it as result new int of size odd count okay okay now uh, inside this uh, i will again need one uh, variable to get to take the track of the indexes of the new uh, what we can say new array and now uh, inside our for loop i will just write int i is equals to zero and this for loop will again run from int i plus then array dot length this time we will do i plus plus and here we are checking one condition if array at i index mod 2 not equals to again if that number is not equal to 0 what that means that number is an odd number and we have to push that number inside our new result array and we, i will pass as index because indexing of this uh, resultant array will be different uh, as that of the our array that we have passed to the function okay and we'll write array at i okay after passing that uh, we have to increment the index index 
variable also so that next time the i index will be switched to the next uh, part okay for suppose uh, for the first value first time index value is idx value is 0 so it will push that uh, variable and uh, sorry number to the 0th index and next time uh, uh, idx plus plus will do the 0 to 1 and next time we will, when we are pushing that number to the array it will become 1 okay now uh, at last I will just simply return our result dot array okay and over here I will call that remove I will call that function over here let me just call it rotate it why am I not able to call this Wait a minute, guys. Int uh, remove even. Remove. And I will pass array. What I am getting error? Not static method. Oh, wait. Now I will have to switch it as static because as we know uh, non-static methods cannot be called inside the static method so our main method is static one that that's why we have to create our new method as a static one okay, okay. and now this whole thing I have I will write inside a print statement print remove even and I will pass our arrow to it Okay, so that is pretty much that I think we have to do. Let's hope. Okay, so this is getting one build is going on, build is complete. Okay, this is returning, I guess, object. Wait, 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 wait. This thing we have to do, I think. Wait, let me just commit it out and I will just simply what we can do is create an array. Wait. I will do and we will assign it as. And I will just simply write sum of we have to. I hope now this will work. Wait, 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 guys. This is printing the objects. I don't know why. Wait, let me check once. Okay, guys, uh, I think uh, by this we are storing that array inside our uh, this array ARR2. But one thing is it is doing that it is printing the object. So I guess instead of printing this, we need to iterate over that array. Okay, so we have to run, run a for loop over here. i is equal to 0. i is less than ARR2 dot length. And each time we'll be doing I, I plus plus. Okay, and inside this uh, we'll just simply write not print ln, only print because it will print all, all the array in, inside the vertical manner. Okay. Now uh, I have to just print array of two at i index. Yes. Okay, so now it will print the new array which was which is returned by our function. So expected output should be 3 and 7 inside the new array. Let's see. Yeah, 3 and 7 is getting printed. Uh, only thing is that I just have to print one extra line over here. I just simply write over here itself. Okay, now it's okay. Uh, if I run again, 3, 1 space and 7 should be printed on the console. Yeah. 
it is getting printed on the console. So, quick summarize uh, what we have done in, in this question. Uh, we have removed the even numbers from an array. Uh, so, let's suppose this is an array. It will remove the uh, even numbers from an array. So, one thing I, uh, let me clear. Uh, the way I do in, is not the only way you can do it. You can also uh, try in the new ways. Uh, right uh, right now here we have created one new array and we have storing that number inside this array uh, we can solve this you know, by using one one array itself but only thing is optimization should be there okay so that part uh, comes under the time and space complexity where uh, so we will also cover those lectures in our upcoming videos how to reduce your space and time complexity of your code which will improve the code by much way okay so here that's all for this question uh, i will see in the next one